Hey, everybody, you are listening to the Let's Talk with Kellen radio show on Sedora Radio. So the first half, I listen to house music because I'm a old-fashioned house head. And I want to start off with this. Everybody, everybody, thank you for your love, for your support, for your blessings, for your prayers, for me and mine. It is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So today's topic, I want to talk about skin tightening. There's a lot of women and men who have either lost some weight or they had some type of surgery, but it left saggy skin. If you got some options here, if you had, if you have saggy skin, depending on how much saggy skin you have, you may need surgery for that. Then you could come back and, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how, well, I'm gonna tell you how to do DIY yourself, but you can also see a professional, someone that is skilled in how to do the technique, the modality of skin tightening manually, and at the same time, helping your tissues restore to their optimal normal. So there's you know, several things I wanna talk about with that because there's a lot of um, people who are getting skin tightening and you're paying a lot of money for it. So because y'all paying a lot of money for it, I'm gonna try to save you some money, but I'm gonna give you a key ingredient that is evidence-based, research-based, and has been known to help with skin tightening. I'm trying to get comfortable here. Have been known to help with skin tightening. So take a few minutes, grab a pen and paper, and I don't have no water. Take a few minutes, grab a pen and paper because I'm about to drop some gems on you for DIY skin tightening. Now, what areas can be skin tightening? Any area where you have loose skin. Um, then I'm going to give you some well-known uses for it. So let me start off with this. The name of this ingredient, and I'm going to just give you one for the day because this is going to be a two-part on this one ingredient, and that's because it is widely used in just about everything we consume or use on a daily basis, okay? The name of the ingredient is alum, A-L-U-M, A-L-U-M. Write that down, y'all, write that down. And alum has antiseptic properties. It also kills dental bacteria, it strengthens gums, but it has a lot of other uses because it's also used in food. So I want to tell you what the uses are first. I want to tell you, I'm watching my clock over here, everybody. I want to tell you what the uses are first. So number one is a water purifier treatment uh, where we have the city municipalities. It is also used as a water purifier in whatever system they use it in. It's also used as a mouth freshener. So for individuals who have halitosis, you can create your own mouth freshener with alum. So I'm going to give you the recipe for that. One glass of water, one gram of alum, a pinch of rock salt, mix it up and gargle with it. That's it. You have just made your own mouth freshener with one, well, actually two ingredients, alum and water, okay? Next is, it is also used as a skin whitener and skin tightener. 
And what it does is it helps remove dead tissue and excessive oil from the skin. Hope y'all are writing all this stuff down. It is also used in topical formulations like gels, creams, and also used for um, pigmentation marks and acne. So if you are a person who has acne, get you some alum. If you have pigmentation marks, get you some alum. It's also used in, this is the wrong word, so I'm gonna try to find another word. I'm gonna use this. It's also used with barbers. It's also used among, I'm gonna say men for this because alum can be used for shaving, like when men nick themselves and they be cutting themselves when they shave. It's also used for bruises. For women, it's used for unwanted hair. Remember, they, there was this product back in the day, I'm telling my age. There was this product back in the day called Neat and Nair. I don't even know if they still have this product in the stores, but it was called Neat and Nair. What Neat and Nair did, women who did not want no hair in specific areas on their body, we would go to the store and buy some Neat and some Nair. Alum does the same thing. It helps remove unwanted hair. Now, I will say this. I had a early learning lesson on commercial products that is meant to remove hair. However, I learned early as a child. I want y'all to listen to this. As a child, I couldn't have been no more than 12 or 13. Y'all may not notice it here, but right along here, I have a lot of facial hair. Ever since I was a little girl, I had facial hair. And I'm in the mirror with scissors trying to cut it off. And as a little girl, one of She's probably listening to this. I hope she remembered this. One of my aunties had put some nair on my chin and to remove the hair. Well, auntie, I'm going to share this with you. It made it worse. You put that neat underneath my chin when I was a little girl it went downhill It made it much worse because now I have this hair problem. And if I don't go and get waxed, it took me some bravery to get a wax, but I don't go get waxed or don't cut it down. It's like back in 48 hours. So women uses alum to remove unwanted facial hair. I'm sure I'm not the only hairy woman out there, especially when it comes to here in the chin. Next, I wanna talk about types. There's a lot of types of alum. I wanna make sure that you get the right one, okay? Make sure that you get the right one. So you have potassium alum, that is used in food flavoring. The next time you go to the market, and you getting um, flavoring, like seasoning and stuff, read the label. See if alum is up in there as an ingredient, to, a contributor towards the flavoring. Sodium alum, that's used in baking soda. I don't know who does this today, but I still do it. You buy a box of baking soda from the store, open it up, stick it in the refrigerator. Purpose, keep everything in there fresh, smelling, who does that today other than me? Just me. But alum is also used in baking soda. And what that does, it controls the acidity and the alkalinity of your food. Baking soda in the refrigerator. OGs like that do that. 
Southern thing, Northern thing. I don't know if young people use baking soda, open it up and put it in the refrigerator and understand why that baking soda is being put in the refrigerator. How am I help you? So don't stay. That's because you learned that from me. I grew up on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know that. So you just in here chilling out? Well, you come to chill with me? A little bit. What's up? All right. You go, are you going to eat your food? I am going to eat my food. So that's what you eat. Oh, thank you. I'm going to eat my food right after the show. All right. Well, okay. All right. Ammonium alum is another one. Chrome alum is number one, two, that was four. Chrome alum is number four. And selenium. Selenium has oxidizing agents. It is also an antiseptic. So when you are in the store purchasing your disinfectants, your antiseptics, and all this good stuff, read the label. See if alum is up in there. Okay? So I gave you those. So you're going to go and purchase. Now I'm going to give you the recipe. We get a recipe. You are going to make skin tightening using alum. Y'all see me looking down. That's because messages is just coming across. You see me looking over here. That's because I'm watching my clock. Watching my clock, everybody. So I'm going to give you the recipe, alum powder. Let me tell you what it does. This is the recipe for reducing, well, tightening skin, but also reducing wrinkles. Everybody likes looking beautiful, I would believe. And this recipe is going to be for the face, okay? Skin tightening for the for the face. I'm gonna also show you um, how you can do it naturally as far as skin tightening on the face because you have men and women who may have like loose skin up underneath their chin. You can give yourself a natural facelift. You can really give yourself a natural facelift and it's all about the direction that you are going in because you want everything going up this way. So I'll show y'all that. So alum paddle powder, distilled water. You are going to mix it up together. This is on the face because we're talking about the face right now. You're gonna mix it up together, let it dry about a few minutes and rinse it off now i will say this this i can do i could legally say this i'm within one of my schools of practice where i could do this if you want to make an alum paste some people ask about that if you want to make an alum paste remember it's a-l-u-m 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 alum skin tightening you can mix alum powder with cinnamon, rock salt, water, distilled water, and mix it. Now you have your alum paste, okay? Now let's talk about how do you do a natural face lift? I'm not an artist, but I'm going to show y'all something. And while I'm showing y'all, y'all can listen to this. So hopefully Facebook don't block me because I'm doing it again. Not an artist, y'all. Nope.
Yep. Trying to keep the space together. Nope, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my face because I'm having a hard time trying to draw a um, facial figure. So to do a natural facelift, now some people might be saying, I don't know why you're giving that information away, Carol. Why not? Why not give it away? Why not? Hold on, let me just see something here. Okay, Camille. Hey, pretty lady. I will. Thank you. Sador Radio himself. Great information, like usually. Awesome. All right, thanks. I had to check because I can't see who is watching when I'm like this. I got to go to my phone to see who's like this. So let's talk about the direction of a natural facelift. If you don't want to use the alum, you don't want to do this, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can naturally do it. And if you have sensitive skin, I want you to use unfractionated coconut oil. I'm gonna say that again, unfractionated coconut oil. And I'm going to do this because of something else that I wanna, something else that I wanna add to y'all, but I wanna give it to you right. So hold on, I have to get it. Okay, here I go. So I wanna, I wanna make sure I give it to you right. That didn't quite come out right, but y'all know what I mean. I hope y'all know what I mean. Oh, okay. All right. Nope, that's not the one I want. Give me a minute. I'm looking for something. I hope I didn't lose it. I try to prepare for y'all so I don't have to go through this. In my face. It's right in my face. Oh, here I go. It was right in my face the whole time. I couldn't believe it. In my face the entire time. So here you go. These, I'm going to give you three. I have about 15. But I'm gonna only give you three because some of them you may be, you may have sensitive skin. So castor oil is one. Almond oil is another. However, if you're allergic to peanuts, do not use almond oil. I'm gonna repeat that. If you are allergic to peanuts, do not use almond oil. If you are allergic to peanuts, do not, do not, do not use almond oil. So castor oil, let me, I'm gonna give you more than that. Castor oil, almond oil, and that's almond essential oil, and also rose hip seed oil. Now, what you wanna do with these is, number one, if you're using anything I said that was an essential oil, you always wanna use a carrier oil with it. So I'm gonna give you, another recipe and also tell you what size ounce to put it in. So you wanna get a two ounce bottle with a screw top, not spray top, screw top, two ounce bottle. You wanna put 10 drops of the rose hip essential oil, key word, rose hip essential oil with, fill the rest of that bottle up with castor oil 
if you're not allergic to almond oil, almond essential oil, okay? So that's a, like a simple, simple recipe for skin tightening if you don't want to use the alum. So I'm going to give you some directions. Get my little pen here. All right. Right across here, the front talus muscles, the direction is going to be arrow wise this way. Right up underneath the eye around here, it's going to be up this way to the temporalis. From here, remember I said natural facelift, direction is going to be this way up. So if you have, let me see if I could improvise for y'all. I'm going to use this lotion so y'all can see the direction and what I'm talking about. In case y'all don't think I got lotion on my hand, it's right here. And this is what you're going to do. This right here. I should have used the um. So you have it all and make sure you stay away from your eyes. I need some more because it's lotion. My oil is not in front of me. So I gotta use the lotion. All right. So remember I said natural facelift. So you want to go up in the up direction. Up to here, temporalis muscles. Everything is going in the up direction. Here, underneath your nose, go around. Here, up. Here, up. Here, up. Here, up. Here, up. And up again. Now, once you get here, Go to your frontalis muscles and go to your temporalis. Here, 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 here. Be careful here. And this helps for people who have bags up underneath their eyes. People who have bags up underneath their eyes, get as close as you can here. Follow that regimen for your natural facelift two to three times a week. Follow that regimen for that natural facelift two to three times a week, okay? So we talked about skin tightening. I gave you a recipe to actually two recipes to help you have, uh, to help you have a natural facelift. This, this is stuff that you can do at home. Do it yourself. And if you don't wanna take the time out to do it yourself, that's great. Either way, you're right. But read the ingredients of what you are putting on your skin. Read the ingredients of what you are putting on your skin. So if you catch this on a replay, please type in replay. This will be uploaded to the Sador Radio Station YouTube channel. If you catch it up on the YouTube channel, just type in replay. Anybody that has tuned in with me, I greatly appreciate it. So let me do what I do best. I'd like to take the time out to thank Camille for tuning in. Mr. Sador himself, CEO, for tuning in. And anybody else that catches this on a replay. So just remember, let's recap. Today's topic is skin tightening. Do it yourself, skin tightening. DIY skin tightening. 
it's an alum, the recipe I gave you, the main active ingredient, the active ingredient is alum, A-L-U-M. I also showed you how to give yourself, you, a DIY natural facelift with these. And you can do that two to three times a week for as long as you feel needed and you see the results, okay? So more about that later. I think this might be a part two because there's a lot more that I wanna share with you about alum and also give you some more DIY gems. And probably next week, I'm gonna see if I can be in the kitchen showing you how to do some stuff. So in the meantime, thank you everybody for tuning in with me. Thank you for downloading the Sador radio app on your iTunes or your Android phone. We greatly appreciate it that you're tuning in with us, that you downloaded the radio station and you can tune in at any given time. There's something going on here on Sador radio station, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but always, I got to put me out there, always tune in with me every Tuesday, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. And my format is the first 30 minutes is going to be house music. So that's why I want y'all, my call to action, I want y'all to download the radio app so you can, if you like house music, tune in with me on the radio. And the second half from 1.30 to 2 o'clock, I do the topic of the day. I also want to put this out. Um, I'm going to put this out there, but I don't have my notes. So I'm going to try to do this off the top of my head. If you are a, if you have a business, because this is only for people who are in business and legit. When I say in business and legit, in business and legit. There, I am sponsoring, I should say this, I am sponsoring a group of business professionals called Circle of Excellence. And the Circle of Excellence is a group of businesses that are essential for what the public needs. So if you're interested and you are, I need that list. Hold on, y'all. I gotta, I gotta do this again. Hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. I gotta find something else. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it and say it wrong. I wanna give it to you accurately so it'll be right. So now, sorry, I had to black out. So I want to, I am sponsoring the Circle of Excellence. The Circle of Excellence is a group of business people who are in this field. And what they do is it is a resource, a resource group of people, uh, let me say this, it's a resource organization and it's called Circle of Excellence. So if you are a painter, you need model homes, you do taxes, you do credit repair, you are a ASE certified mechanic, if I said that right, you are a certified electrician, you are a LPN or RN, you are a physician, preferably they want a DO, which is doctor of osteopathic medicine, but they will have a medical doctor as well, because there's a difference between an MD and a DO. And a lawyer that specializes in tax or a criminal attorney. So, I sponsor this group. When I say I sponsor, not me as in Carolyn Huber Black sponsor. No, I sponsor them through my radio 
show, the Let's Talk with Carolyn radio show, sponsors the resource organization of Circle of Excellence. And these are the individuals that are essential to what we need and they have member discounts. So if you fit in one of those um, entrepreneur and you have a business, reach out to me, 267-864-8639. I will give you more information, connect you with the people that you need to be connected with. So that's my time, everybody. You've been listening to the Let's Talk with Carolyn radio show on Sador Radio. I am Carolyn, your host, and my time is up. Thank you for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Um, if you catch this on the replay, just type in replay. Thanks, everybody. Show your love. Type in replay if you catch it on the replay. And I will catch y'all on my next, 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 next live stream. Take care, everybody. And thanks, Camille. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.